Hi, I'm here today in Covent Garden at Vodafone's 1984G Street, which is a recreation of when the very first mobile phone call was made on Vodafone's network, and this is all to celebrate Vodafone's 30th birthday. So come, let's go check out the 80s. This is the amazing Vodafone VT1. This was the first uh, mobile phone um, that was actually used by the founder's son, uh, Michael Harrison, in 1985, actually on the 1st of January, the first call was made. So this was um, actually made to be used in a car, so perfect for travel. Um, in fact, you could charge this up in your car and a very short 10 hour charge would give you a huge 30 minutes worth of calls. So in 1985, this phone would have retailed at exactly 1,650 pounds, which in today's money comes in at just over 4,500 pounds. So something a bit more mobile, you would need the Motorola 8000X. So this was actually the first brick phone, as it was known, something that still had an aerial, of course, um, but you could actually walk around and use. This would charge from the mains. The battery actually is removable. This would go into a separate dock to charge. So you wouldn't actually be able to use the phone whilst the battery is charging. Um, again, you'd be limited to battery life. So 10 hours on charge would give you about an hour, so 60 minutes on the telephone. So again, it's great for portability, but you still had to manage your calls. This is the groundbreaking Vodafone VM1. Um, this here was actually the first ever phone that Vodafone sold. In fact, we sold this in September 1984 to a gentleman called Mungo Park. He actually purchased this before the network had gone live. He didn't receive it until January 1985. Um, this was predominantly used again for in-car. So you actually have the battery pack here. This would be installed into the boot of the car or the bonnet of the car. The handset itself would go into the front of the car next to the driver's seat. There would then be a separate area that would need to be installed just on the roof of the car for you to use it. At the time, this would have cost just under one and a half thousand pounds, which in today's money is about 4,100 pounds. So it was, again, uh, quite a luxury item. 1980s was when the Vodafone uh, network launched and actually 1987 was when the first mobile phone was seen in a feature film which was actually Lethal Weapon. Um, we moved then on to the 90s when 2G network launched so phones then began to have colour screens and the 2G network um, being stronger meant that phones didn't have to have external aerials so they were much more sort of pocketable devices. Uh, we then go into the noughties or the 2000s in which 3G launched so there you're talking smartphones, downloadable content, web browsing on a mobile device. Um, and that leads to where we are today, the tens maybe. Um, so now we have super fast internet, much wider coverage, and a huge range of devices available today.